guys welcome back so today i want to do a quick application and dry wear test on this wet and wild fast dry af i've done this before for the insta dry nail polish from sally hansen which supposedly takes 60 seconds to fully dry so we have this one here from wet and wild which i'm really kind of confused about a little bit because it says speed 40 seconds to dry but then <clears throat> let me pull this up really quickly dries in 30 seconds and lasts for up to five days which was neither here nor there i'm just worried about how fast it dries and then it says built-in base coat and top coat for one coat coverage and brilliant shine that's what we're going to be putting to the test so i have the color here this one's called southern bell this is a super light peachy kind of color all right i'm not gonna yap too long about that the only thing I'm going to do to prep my nails, which is something I always do to prep my nails for nail polish, I'm just going to take a little bit of nail polish remover, piece of paper towel, and just wipe down all my nails to get all the natural oils off of there so there's nothing interfering with the formula performing at its you know absolute best to hopefully get that true dry time. Oof, don't mind that nail right there. I actually slammed it into the countertop and split it right across so I'm gonna paint it first and then we'll set the timer to start I really like the little paddle on this brush do you see that there's something a little funky oval cut to it As far as them saying one coat coverage, I'm not sure that I would agree with that. It looks a little thin in some spots. It does seem to be self-settling, which isn't bad. So unlike the Insta Dry nail polish from Sally Hansen, with that one, I felt like I was able to just dip once and kind of go down the whole line of nails. Um, this one, I don't feel like I can do that. I have to definitely dip for each nail. about to start the timer and technically speaking because i have to paint each nail first before i even get the timer started it's it's technically getting more time to dry but let's go ahead and get that started Now for the record, I know that the description says 30 seconds, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and give it the 40 that it says on the bottle. I just don't understand the discrepancy between the 30 and the 40 seconds. And there we go. So it actually got 42 seconds out of that. But let's see here very first nail let's bring it up close and tap. well I kind of smudged it a little bit right right there so it did dry pretty well it's not horrible there is a tacky layer that tells me it's still not 100% completely dry but that's that nail let's see here and it's definitely not full coat um, in one layer like it says I don't know how well you can see that but there's definitely some spots that are just like very thin looking and can get down to the nail all right that one does not have a tacky layer at all that layer actually dried let's see this nail here which is still looks a little wet all right so I guess you can see some of my fingerprints were just right there if I had left that for maybe another 20, 30 seconds. That would be done completely. Oh, okay, yeah, this one definitely more smudgy smudgy, you see that? So yeah, you'd have to keep your coats pretty, pretty thin. So 
to be able to get a full on drying in time. Yeah, you see that? And not only that, but not only would you have to keep your coats, then you can see where I also split that nail and had to save it. <laughs> but um, you would have to go in more than once, which it claims definitely you can see there. Like this one didn't have as much drying time as the rest because this was the very last nail I did. And you can see the polish that came off of there. So not only would you have to keep your coats relatively thin, but you would also have to make sure that you went in more than once, which it also claims that you could get one coat coverage. You cannot. If you attempted to go for one coat coverage, you would certainly have to have to wait way longer than 40 seconds for them to fully dry. But yep. I just wanted to test that out and I wanted to do it on camera for anybody else who was curious. I just recently found this in Walmart about a week ago and I've been wanting to do this test. So yep, if you have any other questions that I might not have answered in this video, then please feel free to leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. If you haven't already, please comment, rate, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. You all have an amazing rest of the week and wherever you are and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.